They say when you're surrounded by infinity, make any wish and it will come true. So I'm going to find some infinity. Why, why does this feel familiar? I did not mean to intrude, only gift a glint of luck. If something works, push it until it breaks and then work backwards from there. There's just massive damage here. What caused this? Because the, the, the epicenter of this explosion is right slap bang there. Something exploded inside this building far more powerful than those exploders. Ah, oh, just look at all these buildings I've cleared, all this lit up space, fantastic. Reclaiming the city and expanding the zombie terrain, but I do need, um, I do need more torches before I can continue. Oh, wow, that building's full of exploders. Two more there. What is this? A spider eye. What the hell is a spider eye? The hell's a spider? You can use it to make a gas tear. Okay, hello. Spider eye. Why well, is there a gold armored skeleton outside? What, something you want to say? No? Thought not. Oh wow. It's just such a big hole. Uh, best way up is probably to rebuild the ladder. I'll see if I can find where this water's coming from as well and block that up. Uh, it looks like a flooded room. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those flooded rooms. Oh. Has that stopped the flood? It has. Brilliant. Alright, I'll just leave that there then. And I don't know if I've got enough to rebuild the staircase, uh, the ladder now. Oh. I have. Okay. There we go. Whoop. Ow. And that is all the way to the top. Oh, there's a... One of these unusual zombies. Hello. Don't fall. It's a long way down. Hmm. does feel good claiming another. Oh. oh yes, my old farm back in the open. How naive I was to think that would be a good idea. Right, is there anything else on these floors that I want? No, because there is nothing left of the interior of this building. Just from here, it is just, it's basically a shell that is held up by some rather impressive old world construction because wow, that is... This thing took a beating. There. All of the loot from that building cleared out. And I don't know what to use that building for, especially as it only has effectively, um, what, two, three floors? Hello. Do you mind? I'm just gonna, just gonna go up here to think. How's Kathy doing? You doing okay? You enjoying the space? Lots of space, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's doing fine. That was weird. Why did that look different? Anyway, uh, Endermen, right. So I need Ender Pearls. I can get them from an Enderman Drop, uh, Enderman Essence, Fragments, which seem to just be a thing. Um, Snowball, Slimeball, Emerald, and Generalized Ender Prediction. Uh, which is a Generalized Nether Prediction and Endstone. Endstone is... Yeah, that seems to be a, just a loop on itself. Uh, nether Prediction is Netherrack and Overworld Prediction. Overworld Prediction is made in a simulation chamber. Hmm. Hello? Oh, you felt that I was in need. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate your music very much. Hmm. Generalized overworld prediction. What can these be used for? Spider eyes, again. Flesh, carrots, iron, prismarine, potato. Okay, so that's used for some things. What? What is a spider eye? Soul extraction. A spider soul. I have no idea what that is. 
Oh. That is what a spider is. Okay, it's horrible, but I've never seen one. End seeds? End agglomeratio. End stone purple, end stone and churis. Okay then. A nebulous heart is one of the drops used for crafting drops from endermen. Ah! Right, that's what I mean by drops. Ender pearl, ender tear. I wonder. Like, these buildings do seem to call these things forward, but the endermen didn't appear with any kind of regularity or, or frequency. Is there a way that I could farm them? Like, some sort of... Some sort of way to, to call them. Rotten egg and golden egg. Dreadful dirt and delightful dirt. Okay. Advanced modular mob grinder can be enhanced with mob masher upgrades that do count as kills. Okay. Alright, yeah, it looks like there are a variety of ways. Maybe monsters were more of a thing then. Um, mob, here we are. Mob masher upgrades, radius, distance, fans, mob swab to collect DNA. There's that dreadful and delightful dirt again. A mob fan pushes mobs in a direction, in presumably into the mob masher. Ah, oh, that's where the hopper's from. It's made by the same company. Or was. And the Singularity Tank, I've looked at that before. Ender Inhibitor inhibits teleportation for entities. Oh, I see. That would be helpful because those things teleport. That's how they were killing me. Tinted Glass. Dreadful Dirt spawns more hostile mobs. And Delightful Dirt uh, spawns more creature mobs. And an entity spawner uses a mob egg. XP Jelly Baby. Fascinating. Okay, well, it looks like that might be a sensible method. Dreadful Dirt spawns more hostile mobs, and it was the rotten egg that produces that. But how does one get a rotten egg? GM chicken feed cursed and nutritious for a golden and a rotten egg. I mean, I could use that new building. Because I wouldn't want things to be that close. That's a nice distance from me, it's a separation, and I could still sort of pump, I don't know, whatever I get across. Power might be an issue, I could power it from on top, keep it completely separate and isolated. Okay. Alright, I will turn this into some sort of mob masher. How do I get chicken feed? Uh, bone, gunpowder, seeds, flesh, memory, oh no, just essence bucket, and a spider eye. Bizarre, this thing. How do I get the essence? Uh, essence from... Alchemic Imbuer? From a mob crusher. So it's cyclical, I see. Memory essence... Seems to be experience into memory essence. Using a memory stick, an aerial interface, or a drone, somehow. Well, there is the XP Drain Singularity Tank. Wow. Okay, that uses two eyes of Ender. Which I do not have, that is the point of this. What about the Ender Inhibitor, that's also an eye of Ender. Tinted Glass, Coal and Glass. Allows you to see the inside of the mob farm without letting light inside. This was fully industrialised. Like, what, what were they doing? Why were they, why did they need to, I mean, I need to farm it, but I'm trying to bloody stop the, well, reverse the apocalypse? What am I trying to do? Save the world? But why, why did they need this? Why did they need the ability to farm these things? Why were they so big a threat? And yet, also so little a threat, I see him. That, oh god! He crept up on me. Oh, sneaky little bugger. He's a different one. That's the one I saw. Where did he come from then? Oh, I killed him. Is there any other way to drain XP? Experience essence. You can make experience seeds. 
which are capsules full of experience points. And that's solium. Solium, soul glass and solium ingot. And solium is solium dust and prosperity. And that is solium ore. Vacuums up XP orbs. It all comes back to this hopper. If I can get one, if I can get one Eye of Ender, I can make a hopper, and then apparently I can just use that for bloody everything. It seems to be incredibly useful. So I just need... I need one. No luck. Increases drop rates from monsters. Luck, re luck requires a different recipe for each level applied in order. Maximum of three levels. So this needs... what? Copper, two blocks of lapis, and a blue flower of some kind? And what, do I put them in here, I guess? Uh, I don't know if I've got any blue flowers. I do not have any blue flowers. I've got a skyroot sapling, but that's about it. I do have bone meal, so I can try and grow some. There we are. Cornflower, that was one I saw. So two of these, two of these, and one of these. Luck. Gives you nice things when mining or killing mobs. Okay, so how do I do that again? Ah, oh, max one. It said in the book that it wasn't max one. Maximum of three there. Ah, luckier and luckiest. Oh, I need ender pearls for that. Welp, I tried. So for the mob masher, I need iron swords, iron spikes, which is just iron, diamonds, redstone. Okay. Hmm. Because I'm wondering if manually killing these things in these buildings is the way to go. Until I can set up this thing as a, a mob grinder, then it might be worth like trying to clear buildings using this stuff. This really isn't producing much in the way of iron, is it? Maybe... Uh, what, do I still have... I do. I do still have this growing um, Inferium. What I should do is I've got... Oh, actually, I'll check the, uh, the shard farm. I've got uh, eight shards already. In addition to... Oh, that's stopped because... Sixteen shards! That is incredible. Alright, so now that is enough for, um, well that's four more, plus the two I've got, I can make five more seeds. If I make an iron, a second iron one and put it in the other one of these, are they actually growing? Yeah, they're growing. Alright, if I take out the inferium and put in an iron one instead, and then I can double my iron production. So that needs to be tertium. Tertium farmland. Let's take the whole way and then let's go do the little ritual to get another iron seed. First time I've done this for ages, Kathy. God, it feels like I've just been stuck, desperately struggling for one thing after another. So, uh, tertium, iron, tertium, iron, tertium, iron, tertium, and iron. Activate. There we have. Okay, so this will replace the other infer Inferium one I have here because it is massively outdated now. And stick that in there. So that will... Uh, I'll keep all of this stuff in here because I, this is still the best place for me to dump um, things I'm using from this. All of this stuff. Tons of it. So I can just chuck all of that in there still, uh, that's not too big an imposition to do every now and then. And I've got another Inferium seed for when I do, if I in fact do need to expand it, which I am unsure. So what do I want to do with the other 20 of these? I probably just want to bank them, just keep them for if I need them. Like if, oh actually, uh, I'll go check the the uh, condition of my shard farm pick. I'll take that. 
Oh, that's doing wonderfully. That is doing very well. So well, I definitely need to pipe that up. If I connect that to... That. Turn off those ones. And then have that as extract. I have now an infinite loop of cobblestone being placed and mined. And it seems leaving the space around it did crack the issue of the shards just dropping into the abyss. Or flying, uh, going flying rather. The opposite of the abyss. Because that is now producing lots of them. Ah, I realised the problem with my plan. I still need to be there. I don't think this thing is gonna... It's gonna call them forth like my presence seems to, so I'm still gonna have to be there manually. But that means I probably only need the one of these for now, which is good because they're very expensive. So I need eight more swords. Hopefully I can use these two damaged ones I got. And... I can! Brilliant! Uh, so two of those, and then... A mob masher. Let's have a... no. It would be very stupid to put this down in the middle of my base, surrounded by friendly zombies. Okay, that looks vicious. Hmm. And it said there are upgrades. Um, Bane of Arthropods. Beheading. Fire Aspect. Looting. Sharpness. Smite. Yikes. Apparently I miscounted. I got too, too many swords. Which is really awkward because, you know, I, I had two broken ones to use. So how do I make, like, smite? Redstone, uh, flesh, gold nuggets, iron swords, blue dye. Okay. Max of ten. Yeah, I could just I could just stack a load of these in there then. That would be very helpful, because if an enderman came up and got pushed into the, uh, the looting... Ah, uh, the issue is the gold nuggets. I'm virtually out of gold. I am... Out of gold. This is all I have. I have 12 gold, so that's enough to make three of these. 12 lapis becomes 12 blue dye, which goes there, there, and there. Gold goes around the edge, and three of those to get three looting upgrades. Does this thing need power? That's a good question. I'm so nervous around this thing. I just feel very threatened by it. It does not need power. Might be worth making a fan as well, just to make sure that they do run into this thing. So that's stone slab, redstone, and iron. There we are. Nice and simple. And I assume that also needs a lever. All right, let's give this a go then. Um, I know this building isn't a good one. So... I need to be able to stand behind it and not be attacked, so I need some blocks. No, this is a good one because it's got the two there underneath to say it's good. Alright, this seems like a pretty good place to do it. Because I can stand here in this safe area. If I put the masher there... Ooh. Okay, that'll work. Oh, damn. Ooh, that was close. Alright, that's actually a pretty good way of stopping anyone from running into it from the, the back. Alright, let's try this. Come and get me. Is that blocking it? Yes, it is. Okay, so that does hurt it. And then if I put that in does very little though. I think that's why I need the fans. Fan? Fans? Multiple? Yeah, I'll kill this guy off and then I'll, I'll see if I can get in there and put the fan down. So first of all, a quick test. It places it facing me and then... Oh! Alright, it pushes... Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so it pushes into the seventh. Yeah, so the seventh needs to be the um, uh, the the masher. Ow! Oh, the masher! Bloody hell, that hurt! 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like so. Okay, well that didn't quite work. What about it like this? Yeah. I think that's doing the, the trick. They are still getting knocked back out of it, so if I can place it so that they can't be. Ah! What about like the you the funnel I had? But um sort of they get blown into the funnel and then down the funnel and then it's at the end of the funnel. That might work. I'll just turn that off to protect myself for a sec. Ah! Yep, very glad I did. Ah! Ah! Damn. Uh, okay, if I break that, can I... Can you move out the way? I'm trying to flick on your... Oh, damn. Trying to flick on your doom. Very difficult to flick on your doom when you're there. Can you just... Ah, I know. Oh no! I hope you don't run all the way round the side here. That would be her... They're not doing it. Of course not. They're not They're not intelligent, are they? They're not... Skeletons are not intelligent creatures. Oh well. Alright, that seems to do the trick better. Pushes them into it, they can't be knocked back much. It's slow, so the sharpness would probably be good, but I need to go mining for gold for that. And then an absorption hopper here would be perfect, so I'm I'm really I'm waiting for um Oh. Oh am I under that? Oh wow, okay, that's risky. Alright, well I'm waiting for an Enderman. I need an Enderman to come and, and get mashed. That is actually a genius bloody way of, of sectioning this off. Because it means I can go in and out of it without the risk of them doing the same. That is brilliant. Oh. Maybe the wall doesn't need to be that long. Maybe it just needs to be a couple long so that they can't escape it. If I just break through there. Yeah, that's what I needed. Can you shoot me through this? Can you shoot me? No? Seems not. Ah, that is the downside of my little sneaky under the way trick. The little slimes can get me, but hopefully if I can lure him into this, he'll just get mashed as well. Does he get blown? He does get blown. Ah! You can still escape it, though. Yeah, that is the downside, then. Uh, Alright, if I replace that with glass, ideally... What about if I just put it there? I mean, that means I can't sneak under it, but defeats the point, really, doesn't it? I guess now the the big question is whether this... Oh, the witch is outside. Yeah, they're definitely appearing outside. Oh, hell! Out I go. Um... Ha! Out heal that. This is where she shows me that she can. Oh, she's trying to attack me. And is succeeding to attack me. Either that or she's fighting back against the masher and accidentally hitting me. She seems very angry. Yeah, she's definitely going for me. Okay, so witches and slimes. And I think she might be out healing it because she should be dead by now. Oh, never mind, she died. Turn that off, check the loot. Turn it back on again. Hey, slime, why don't you come in here? Yeah, yeah, come come on in. Come, come around here, slime. Oh, did you get caught in the wind? Sorry about that. Just gonna open the door and run away. 
Hey. Oh. Yep, can't get me. Can't get me. I really hope this is clearing the spirits from this place. It would be very awkward if it turned out not to be, but I suppose I still only need it to, to get the ender pearl. <laughs> 